My name is David Patton. When I started photography, I wanted to make art. I wanted to be a landscape photographer. But with a family to feed and bills to pay, I decided it would be better to be a working photographer than a starving artist. So I took a job as a photojournalist. 25 years and thousands of assignments later, it was time to go back to my first love. It was time to follow my passion. Come along on my journey to become the best black and white photographer I can be. Whether it be film or digital, I will be sharing what I learned through my successes and my failures in hopes to inspire and educate. This is my journey. This is Bright in the Edge. Good morning on this cold, dreary day in January. Light's terrible. <laughs> I'm just gonna call it like it is. I initially was going to be shooting film today. Got my film camera in the car. But because the light is so poor and dark, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just walk around with my digital camera. See if I can make a few shots. Doesn't cost anything to shoot digital. This is the kind of lighting where I'm not all that confident I'm going to get something. So I think I'll just go ahead and uh, see if I can make some images. We're just we'll adapt. A little light, light snow coming down, some flurries. And we're walking around kind of the low water mark where a river runs into a reservoir. Got some old stumps here that might be worth photographing. Got some trees across the way. So we'll see if we can't make a composition on something out here. And if nothing comes of it, well, I'm out enjoying myself. And that's, that's really what it's about anyway. Now let's see what we can find. Now I wouldn't call these little stumps attractive <laughs> or beautiful but I do find the lines interesting and the fact that these have been here for since the dam was built I, I don't know many many years just kind of has a, a history to it texture, the, uh, the lines, the, it seems like etching, um, really attracted to the uh, white branches, the light colored branches that are just kind of etched, kind of etched into the darkness. They're really not a lot of depth in these images, they're more flat. But I'm really attracted to the contrast between the light branches and the darkness in the background. So I, hopefully in post-processing I can kind of bring that out a little bit. There's really no dominant subject matter. It's, it's more about the patterns, the shapes, the texture. <laughs> so basically it has the potential of being a really boring photograph. For some reason it catches my eye. Well the wind's really picking up, so I'm gonna I'm going to head up the road and see if uh, I can find something else to photograph. Kind of, the spot is just not really working for me right now. Maybe there'll be some trees up ahead with little 
dusting of snow on them. Something like that might be kind of cool. Yeah, that waterfall was just too messy. Not, not worth the uh, effort of getting back in there. <laughs> but that's the, the exploration. It's kind of what's about, you know. You don't know until you take a look. Actually, I found a composition that's kind of fun through these trees over here. It might work. You can tell I'm right next to the road. If I would have just stayed close to the road, I would have found the shot. But no, I had to hike in there. I shot a few focus stack. And then a couple just without, uh, just kind of guessing what I could maximize up the field pretty close to those trees and I really want to get the texture of the bark and moss. So this is one of those very few times that I might actually have to focus back. We'll, we'll see when I get it on the computer. It's really hard to tell in the back of the camera if, if it's sharp enough in the background. Sometimes I don't really need the background all that sharp, but I, I, I think since we're kind of framing the stream with the trees, I probably are going to want the background to the chart. We'll see when we get on the computer. getting pretty windy down there so I, I didn't get a chance to set up the shots just made a, a couple compositions down there again I don't know if it's anything it was just kind of fun to, to make some compositions they're not really what I'd call pretty shots they're again more interesting a little bit more history these trees were removed when they put the dam in the dams in this area were built for flood control. There is a hydroelectric part to that, but I think the, the main purpose was for flood control. And if you're gonna build them, you might as well have the hydroelectric hydroelectric part of it. I, gotta, I think I'm gonna hike my way back out to the car. And if you've hung with me this long, well, I really appreciate it. 
until next time, thanks for coming along for the ride.